Fine. When I'd gone to Australia, the first time I went to Australia, I'd gone for lecture tour, and a group of good brothers, mashallah, following Quran and Sunnah, Sahih Hadith, they called me for a lecture tour. And normally we had correspondence, we came. And we reached in that city. I, won't, I don't want to name the group, they're good brothers, mashallah. We reached in the night. So I and my camera crew were with me. So we offered salah. We offered the salah. So they said, hey man, you pray like us. I said, what do you mean I pray like you? I pray like the Prophet. He said, hey man, you pray like us. I said, what do you mean I pray like you? I pray like the Prophet. See, this, this group, mashallah, they are following Quran and Sayyidi. But what they should have said, we are proud that you pray like the Prophet. They said, you pray like me. I never saw him praying before. I'm praying from years. So I'm not praying like him. I'm praying like the Prophet. And Alhamdulillah, he's also praying like the Prophet. So what he should have said was, we are proud that you pray like the Prophet. But he said, hey man, you pray like us. Very happy. Because when they called me, they had seen my cassettes. But they did not know. They said, what? They had seen my cassettes. But they did not know. They said, what? Zakir speaks of comparative religion. Yes, correct. But we don't know his Akhidah. We don't know his Akhidah. So, reluctantly they called me. Seeing that, fine, I'm a specialist in the field of comparative religion. They saw my cassette. They didn't find anything wrong. But they didn't know my Akhidah. They, they didn't know how I pray. So they called me reluctantly. But when they saw me praying, they were happy. Ah. Hey man, you pray like us. So I said, no, I pray like the Prophet. But they were good brothers, mashallah. So then I gave the same, you know. Then we sat for dinner and we had a good talk. And the same topic I said, I'm a pakka hanafi, I'm a pakka shafi, pakka hamli, pakka this. So when it came to Salafi, I said, I'm a pakka Salafi. But nowhere does the Quran say, call it say Salafi. Oh, there's no say hadith in which the Prophet said, call it say Salafi. So most of the brothers, they agreed with me, except for one. One brother, he disagreed. All the other brothers, MashaAllah, Zakir, bye. Brother Zakir, we agree with you. One brother, he said, he asked me, Brother Zakir, do you know Sheikh Nasir al -Bani? I said, yes, I know him. What do you think of him? I said, MashaAllah, one of the greatest Mahathis of our time, that was a few years back, when Sheikh Nasir didn't was alive. Rahimullah, may Allah's mercy be on him. Ha, ah, you agree with him? Yes, he's a good scholar. I respect him, I love him. I revere him. Okay, I will give you his statement. So he went on the internet and he downloaded from albani.com his fatwas. Now reply to these fatwas. And Sheikh Nasir al Albani, may Allah's mercy be on him. I love him, I respect him, I revere him. I appreciate him, mashallah. And he is of one of the two groups of scholars. One group of scholars saying, saying Salafi is fard. And he belongs to that group of scholars, one of the staunchest saying Salafi is fard. So I, I said, Alhamdulillah, if anyone, the day anyone proves me from Quran and Sahih Hadith, if today someone proves me, I will accept it today itself. But I will check it up. Huh? If anyone proves to the day anyone proves to me from the Quran and the Sahih Hadith that calling yourself Salafi is a fard, or calling yourself Ahliyad is a fard, I will call. Or calling yourself Hanafi is a fard, or Maliki is a fard, I will tell that. In action I am, in label, I prefer calling myself Muslim. So when I went to his fatwas, Sheikh Nasir Dalbani, he gave fatwas of great scholars, and he said that Abu Hanifa said, and the hadith he quoted that there will be 73 sects, all will go to hell, except one, that is the Jamaah. And if you cross-reference, Jamaah means the first three generations. Cross-reference, Sai Bukhari. I agree with that. He quoted Abu Hanifa said, Imam Abu Hanifa said, that the Jamaah means following the way of the companions, the next generation, next generation, the self is following. I said, I do that. He gave the quotation of Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah. It is obligatory that you follow the self is following. I said, I do that. He gave the fatwa of Imam Shafi. It is compulsory you follow the three generations, the pious predecessors. I said, I follow. What's the problem? But did these people say, call yourself Salafi? Abu Hanifa never said that. Imam Shafi never said that. Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah never said that. People assume he said, he never said that. So now, there is no proof from Quran and Sahih Hadith that you should call yourself 